Dozens of artists are set to add more color to downtown El Paso. Hi there, I'm Ricky Saez. I'll have more on that story in a moment. But first, if you are visiting downtown El Paso, get ready to say cheese, because you may be on camera. The city has installed 50 surveillance cameras in downtown as part of the City Watch program. They're mainly in the entertainment district that includes the Union Plaza and San Jacinto. City Manager Tommy Gonzalez worked with the police department to add the cameras and will continue to work with the department in an effort to keep our city safe. The cameras were installed back in September and they've already made a difference. We had a, a murder here, unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, and the suspects were identified through the use of our surveillance cameras. Uh, although, although the murder itself was not captured by the surveillance cameras, the suspects were. So uh, already, it's, uh, it's already proven itself. In addition to catching crime happen, the cameras are able to record. El Paso joins a number of Texas cities and larger metropolitan areas across the country that are using cameras. Downtown is the place to be this weekend. The Chalk the Block Festival begins Friday. You can see local artists create amazing chalk murals on the sidewalk, and you too can show off your chalk skills by drawing or writing on the festival sidewalks. There will also be live music, performances, and plenty of food. The free festival starts Friday and runs through Sunday. Check out chalktheblock.com for more info. More signs that the city is getting things done. Another quality of life bond project is set to break ground. Construction of the Eastside Sports Complex will begin this month. More than 40 acres of land near Montwood and John Hayes will be turned into sports fields. At least seven fields will be used for football, soccer, and lacrosse. There will also be a hike and bike trail around the park. The flat fields are one of the major projects that voters approved during the 2012 quality of life bond. Handball players can now practice and play on a brand new court in El Paso's Lower Valley. The Parks and Rec Department recently built a new handball court at Stiles Park that is now ready to use. The court is another way of keeping kids and adults active. A center for senior residents is open once again after renovations made to the building are now complete. The Wellington Chu Senior Center in the northeast part of town has a new dance floor and stage that is ADA compliant. The main hall and lobby have been repainted and the restrooms have been remodeled. It cost about $550,000 to renovate the facility, all paid with federal grant money from the Community and Human Development Department. It may be hard to believe, but more than 2,000 people in El Paso are living with HIV and approximately 100 more are diagnosed each year. Your City in 5 correspondent Sarai Gutierrez joins us from downtown with more on why local officials are targeting El Paso's Hispanic population for testing. Sarai? Thanks, Rick. On Friday, October 14th, the Department of Public Health joins other agencies and organizations across the country to commemorate National Latino AIDS Awareness Day. This means in El Paso, free HIV testing at the HIV Prevention Program here on Montana. HIV testing is very important because you can protect yourself and your partner. HIV test is free, confidential, and very easy. As you come in, you can know your results in as little as 60 seconds. HIV affects many individuals, especially our Hispanic males who have sex with males. One in four individuals are diagnosed. HIV education and prevention is very important because if you know the facts, as well as getting tested, it can, HIV can be prevented. HIV has been around for many years, and we can prevent it by ensuring that you get tested, you reduce your sexual partners. If you are positive, you can live a long, healthy life with the new medical treatments that are available. Most well, certainly, people can come in to 701 Montana from 8 to 11 in the morning and 1 to 4 p.m. There is no appointment necessary. It's a walk-in basis and the testing is free, confidential, and you can get your results in as little as 60 seconds. Thanks, Irene. If you can't make it out on Friday, there is testing throughout the year, or you can call 212-6665 to schedule your appointment. Reporting from downtown, I'm Sarai Gutierrez for Your City in Five. Thank you, Sarai. More information on HIV testing is available online at ephealth.com. The Animal Services Shelter is doing it again. This weekend, the shelter is offering free pet adoptions. Animal Services is waiving adoption fees this Saturday for all dogs as part of their Barktoberfest adoption promotion. If you're more of a cat person, all cat adoptions will be free on Sunday for Meowtoberfest. The goal is to adopt as many animals as possible and save the lives of dozens of shelter pets. Visit epanimalservices.com for more info.
Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Your City in 5. But remember, you can find out more about these stories and other services provided by the city of El Paso by visiting ElPasoTexas.gov. We're also on social media. And of course, you can watch Your City in 5 on City TV. Until next time, I'm Ricky Saias for Your City in 5.